What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's to be about how to read the Bible the best way. Now, there really is no best way, but this is what really helped me read the Bible. And the reason why it's important to make this video because a lot of people don't know when you first start to read your Bible for the first time, uh, you're going to find yourself being uh, demotivated. Uh, you may find yourself falling asleep. And it's funny because if you do anything else, you won't fall asleep. You know, let's say if you're a person who has insomnia, like I did back then, I could I fell asleep like at 4 a.m. But the minute I read my Bible at 8 p.m., I'm falling sleepy. That's a stronghold that's working in your life to get you to, you know, to draw away from the Bible. This happened to me a lot. And I'm pretty sure this happened to a lot of people watching this video that can relate to it too as well. So just understand that when you're falling, falling sleepy, getting tired, uh, you got to just resist it and just fight against it. That's what happened to me a lot. Uh, those are strongholds and, you know, you know, understand that the spiritual things going on taking place uh, when, you know, the doors you open to get the strongholds in your life, they're not going to want you to give your life to God. They're not going to want you to feed yourself with the bread, that being the word of God. Okay, so also I'm going to be doing a giveaway. A lot of people want to hit me up. I said about this in my last video, I'm going to be giving away 50 King James Bible versions. If you guys want to qualify for that, in two weeks I'll be giving away the winners. Make sure you comment below uh, the reason why you need it. Uh, if you already have a King James Bible version, please be considerate. Understand that there's people who don't have one. So I want to be giving out to, to those people. You must be in the USA and that's it. Yes, leave a comment below why you want one. And I'll be um, making a community post, letting the people, the winners know. Hit me up on, on Instagram, Mark the Messenger, and I will um, send me your address and I'll let people know who won. So stay tuned for that. Also, okay, anyways, let's get it. How to read the Bible the best way now in my opinion now this is just opinions okay this could be other people could say something else so you know just putting it out there right but the best chapter that changed my life and I'm pretty sure it will change your life too would be Proverbs okay this changed my life man and the reason why it changed my life is because this is right here okay wisdom right and then knowledge and then under stand. I have no space, so I just put understanding. So wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That changed my life. And reading Proverbs, guys, I remember when I started reading my Bible, I didn't read anything else but Proverbs. Like I just I was just hooked on it. Like every time I read it, I was like, wow, I would be like, I would be like, wow, like my mind would be like like it was just be like the things I was learning, the things I would live in my life back then. Like back then I used to be lazy, right? And it said like the lazy won't, um, I forgot the, the full verse, but like those verses were just hitting. It was, it was hitting. Like even if you, you're you not in the level spiritually, if you read Proverbs, you're gonna really understand. And one of my favorite thing in Proverbs, what really goes over is talks about the fear of God. You know, the fear of God gives you life. And that really sums up the whole chapter, you know, uh, the importance of having that, having the fear of God, because the, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. Okay, so, Proverbs, this is the must, must read. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I probably read Proverbs from start to finish maybe like a hundred times. Like, that's how addicted I was. Like, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, like, it's just the best. So, this is the best, man. The best chapter in the Bible, in my opinion. You could have some other opinion. It's perfectly okay, all right? Uh, so, number two is Psalms. I will start. After you read Pro Proverbs, you want to read Psalms, okay? Um, Psalms also has, is filled with uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. It also talks about a lot of things that are happening in today's age too. Uh, just a bunch of jewels, man. Just a bunch of gems in, in, not to say that the whole Bible doesn't have gems, but I, I have to say with, you know, me reading the Bible, I finished it from front to back three times. I would have to say Proverbs and Psalms are definitely one of those chapters that I could go over again and, and I'd be joyfully reading. Like I'd be, and I'd be reading it for the hundred. Let's say if I would read Proverbs, right? For the hundredth and one time. I'd, I'd still be learning things. As I'd be like, whoa, I, I, don't, I, I, I read this chapter a hundred times and I forgot seeing this verse. Like that's how the Bible is. The Bible can never get old reading. Like every time you reread it, and like not only that, it's like as you you know start, start to get more mature in your walk and you get you know age and get older, you gain experience. A lot of Bible verses make a lot of more sense because you have the experience. So that's the thing about Proverbs and Psalms, man. It likes, makes a lot of sense. So how many chapters should you read, guys? You gotta read 10 chapters a day. Okay, think about all the time you waste your time playing video games, uh, all the times you waste your time watching TV, uh, all the times you waste your time touching yourself, watching corn, uh, you know, just all, all that, that, that low vibrational stuff, right? Have that same energy, and you gotta really put this in your mind, okay? Have that same energy. All the times you use to level up on a video game, it's time to level up in real life, okay? All the times you use to watch, read someone else's story, 
time to read the story that's actually going to change your life. Okay, so I say 10 chapters a day. Personally, when I was really serious, when I, when I fully committed myself to God, I'd be honest with you guys, I would read the Bible five, eight, seven hours straight. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that, but I, I don't know what it was, guys. Like, I was just hooked, bro. Like, I was hooked. Like, and I, this is coming from someone who hated reading. I hated reading books, and I'm gonna explain that why. If you hate reading books too, I'm gonna explain that in a bit, okay? But this is coming from someone who hated reading, okay? I'd be up till seven in the morning, guys. I'm not joking, okay? You can ask my mom. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But I'd be up seven in the morning, guys. After I'd be done seven in the morning, go hit the gym. After I'm done hit the gym, go straight to sleep. I'd probably fall asleep at night. I mean, my sleep schedule was all over the place back then, but I read it seven, eight hours a day. I was really hooked, bro. I was really hooked, and like, uh, I, I understood that this is how my life is going to change, okay? Um, and of course, you want to apply it to your life too as well. But that's that's how your life is going to change. It talks about that in James chapter 1, verse 20 to 22, okay? You got to really be applying it to your life, and you're going to see the blessings overflow, okay? So that's number one. That's number two. Number three, I would recommend is start reading, you know, uh, the gospel of Matthew, Luke, John, and Mark, okay? Uh, now, these are a little bit longer chapters, uh, but out of the four, in my, in my opinion, I think my favorite one would probably have to be Matthew. There's a lot of jewel, there's a lot of prayer bulls in that one. I mean, they kind of correlate. Luke correlates with Matthew, but I would probably go with Matthew. I mean, yeah, this is a perfect order I'd probably start with. Um, now, if you're led to go start with John first, and you know that's cool too. Okay, so no debate in the comment section. This is just all opinions. What helped me? Uh, what I did, you know, which helped me. Like this is coming from someone who hated reading. Okay, so number four. Okay, number four, this is someone, if you hate reading, guys, this is what this is what helped me, okay? When you're reading books, you're getting a dopamine. When you finish a chapter, when you finish a book, you get a dopamine rush, okay? And, you know, when you open a Bible, especially if you're looking at the small text, this is why I don't like, I don't like reading Bible, ver like Bible versions that are like small text. It has to be a little bit bigger, okay? Because, um, you know, it's, it's going to help you stay awake too as well. But James, I remember after I was done reading Proverbs, and I was like, all right, let's, let's actually read the Bible. You know, I'm tired of just reading Saul, uh, Proverbs, right? So I read the book of James. The reason why I read the book of James, because James was only like five chapters, five, right? Five, one, two, yeah, five chapters, or maybe six, five or six chapters, and it would be like four or five pages. And like I said, guys, after you read a chapter, you get a dopamine rush, and then you get addicted. You know, now, you, now you're craving more of that rush too, okay? So after I read James, all right, what's the next shortest chapter in your Bible? Jude. Jude is one chapter. So I would read, I would read the, the book of James, right? And I'll, I'll wait the next day to read the next one. So I finished, I, when, I would, when, I, when I was reading the Bible for seven, eight hours a day, um, I finished a chapter. I, I, I didn't want to go to sleep until I finished the chapter. But you don't want to rush reading the Bible. The first time I read the Bible, I made a mistake. I was in a rush. The second time I read it, like I was be, I would, I would, ha I would have to speak the verses like 20 times before, before I went to the next verse. Like I was, I made sure not to be in a rush to read it. You know, I just wanted to make sure I finished it because I don't want to be making YouTube videos and not even read the Bible, you know, like, so, um, yeah, James, I finished that and I got that dopamine rush, right? I finished uh, Jude. Jude was like one, one page. It was like one chapter. Got that dopamine rush. The next day I'm waiting. Peter, Peter's like four chapters. It's a couple pages. Same thing. Peter's a short. Okay, Galatians, five chapters. Timothy, four chapters or five. Uh, Ephesians, six chapters. Uh, Titus, ch two chapters or maybe three or four. Okay, uh, the Th Th Throsians, like maybe I think like 10 pages. Okay, so as you guys see where I'm going, you know, Hebrews, I think that's like 13 chapters, 14, 14 13, something like that. So these are very short. And like I said, you guys, you're going to get that dopamine rush and you're going to want to crave for them more. Okay, the devil wants you to be uh, having that dopamine rush to drugs, to, to sex. Uh, to alcoholism, on being drunk. He wants you to get that, 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 the wrong dopamine, okay? Now, of course, if you're married, nothing wrong, you know, you get, so use wisdom to what I'm saying, all right? But uh, the dopamine rush is when you're reading the Bible, bro, when you finish a chapter, okay, and you're gonna start to see your spirit start to elevate, okay? Once you start to apply it to your life, the sin that you struggle with, bro, you're not gonna even be thinking about that because you're gonna be thinking about the next dopamine and finish the next chapter, Telling you guys, this is this is real, bro. This happened to me. I can't speak for anybody else but myself. All right. So I was just craving that dopamine rush, you know. And I finished these short chapters. Now, what you could do too, right? I, now you have to read Proverbs first. That is a little bit longer, thirty-one chapters. Probably take you. You could probably finish Proverbs in an hour or two. It's actually not that long. Um, or if you really want, uh, I say be committed, bro. Some people say read a chapter a day. 
Nah, man, you got to read 10, bro. Straight up. Okay, so Psalms, this is a little bit longer. Okay, the Psalms is a little bit longer. So if you want, you can, you can read Proverbs. You can, sit, you can skip Psalms, right? And just go straight to the dopamine, <laughs> right? Now, of course, when you read it, you want to be applying it. And also, you know, don't speed rush it. But, you know, if you're like, if you struggle with laziness, but you want to take that leap of faith, you could, you could do this too as well. Like I said, Psalms is a little bit longer, but if you are going to read Psalms, I would say 10 chapters a day. Okay. Um, now, some, some, some Psalms be short. Some Psalms be like a couple, couple verses, you know, so, you know, it really depends where you're starting from. All right. So there, I got one, uh, number one, Proverbs, two Psalms, three, Matthew, Luke, John, Mark. I don't want my battery camera to die. It's not 4%. percent i am make this quick. All right, so James, and number five is the Torah. The Torah is the, you know, the law, which is Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Exodus, and Genesis. And then number six is the Old Testament. When it comes to the Old Testament, just, you know, you can pick and choose which, which, um, which chapters you want to read in the Old Testament. Uh, you could be led to whatever, you know, you want to read from there. Personally, for me, I just went, I went through Jonah. I would just pick whatever I wanted to learn about, especially Jonah. I remember reading that a couple of times. That's also a short chapter, too. Okay, so also speaking of the Bible giveaway, guys, leave a comment below why you why you need the King James Bible version. I'm giving away 50. Okay, and the, my check my community section post, guys. Uh, within two weeks, I'm gonna wait two weeks for people to get the comments out, people to get notified with the video coming out, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the winners. And also the winners, you gotta make sure you give me your information on Instagram. Okay, Instagram DM. If you don't have Instagram, make one real quick and send me your information. I'll ship it out to you, Amazon Prime. You should get it within two or three days, okay? So I wanna make sure, guys, it's coming out of my own pocket. I wanna make sure all you guys, to the best of my ability, I'm gonna be giving out more too along this year too. So if you don't win, don't worry, don't rush. Um, in the future, I'll be giving out. This this year, I wanna give out a thousand Bibles. That's, that's the plan this year. Uh, 2020, I gave out like a thousand, I think, I think like 500 or thousand or somewhere around that. This year, I wanna give out the same amount. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Comment below, like the video if you haven't already, hit the like button, and turn on the post notifications to get notified for no, uh, for more videos coming. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys got edified in this video. Make sure you guys read Proverbs. You guys are lazy, okay? Just, if you're lazy, if you really struggle with laziness, then I, okay, then all right, you know, one chapter a day, Proverbs. But I'm telling you guys, if you want your life to change, you gotta put in the work. You gotta stop being lazy, okay? If you really wanna see change in your life, if you wanna get to the next level, you can't blame nobody but yourself. You gotta put in the work. All right, love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace. Shalom.